Watching TV should be easy, but way too often getting to your content isn't easy at all. Android TV solves this problem by allowing users to easily search with their voice, see recommendations, and jump between content and games just as easily as they do on their phones. And for developers, if you've already built an Android app for the phone, you're just a few enhancements away from it working on your TV as well. Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and this is an introduction to Android TV. Now, I'm going to give you a very quick overview of Android TV and how easy it is to bring your content to the living room. Let's start with the creative vision for Android TV, which will help you understand the difference between building on something like a phone and building for the TV. To sum this up quickly, you'll want to create an experience that's casual, cinematic, and simple. By casual, we mean that it should be easygoing. TV is not work. Picture yourself hanging out with your friends in the living room, watching a movie, playing a game, or just listening to some music. In a cinematic app, the interface should fade away, putting content front and center. Tell your story with pictures and sound instead of text and menus. And finally, everything should be so simple that it feels magical. Minimize steps, avoid text entry, just get the user to their content. Android TV gives you the tools to easily extend your existing app or game or create new ones just for the big screen. The most important thing to remember here is that it's Android. It's the same platform you already use to build your phone apps. In fact, most of that code can be used for the TV app as well. It can even be in the same APK. Here are the differences. First, you've got to declare the activity that's intended to run on the TV. This is done in the manifest. Second, you'll want to update your UI to use the Leanback support library. It's not strictly required, but in most cases, it'd be silly not to use it because it makes building a great TV UI easy with widgets such as Browse Fragment, Details Fragment, and Search Fragment. Now, the Leanback library depends on Recycler View and the V4 support library. Recycler View gives you classes for managing the display of long lists in a memory efficient manner. Super important for TV interfaces. And of course, the V4 support library gives you all sorts of goodies. The third and final step is to make your app and content available to the user. With the activity declared in the manifest, your app will already show up in the apps or games section. However, there's also the opportunity for your content to appear in the recommendations row and through search. The recommendations row is the central feature of the home screen. It gives users quick access to dynamic and relevant content. It's essentially a bunch of cards that represent a system or uh, app action, notification, activity, or piece of media. You'll extend intent service to provide suggestions for the recommendation row, which will help get your content noticed. Search is important too, because users often have specific content in mind, and browsing for that content is usually not the fastest or easiest way to find it. However, you can add a search action in your app, which you should do, but why stop there? You can also define a content provider to make your content available to Android TV's global search. Android TV brings the Android platform to the living room. Rich content, entertaining apps, and gaming across devices are now possible in the living room by extending the apps you already have for the phone. To get started bringing your service to the TV, check out the documentation and code lab, as well as these other dev bytes on the Leanback library and search. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I look forward to seeing your app on TVs everywhere.